What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's DJ. What's up? Today is going to be a really cool video. I've got a PSA card that is worthy of my collection. Really excited to show you guys. It's a PSA 10. I am quite happy to get this as well. It's not your usual PSA card, so I hope you guys like it. And I also got a uncomplete booster pack art set. I want to show you guys and ask you as well. I want to know what you guys think about it. It's not your usual booster pack art set where it's complete. This one's actually incomplete, but that's part of the reason why I want to show you it and ask what you guys think about it uh, before I complete it. Of course, I'm going to complete it. That is my goal. I'm completing all the art sets. So I am going to show you it and ask you something. So just stick around for that. I also want to give you guys a bit of an update on how things are going in regards to sales. Uh, I am obviously selling parts of my collection. I think I exaggerated a little bit in the last video in regards to selling everything I am selling a lot of it most of it the cards that I like I am gonna keep definitely 100% I am gonna be selling everything dirt cheap or anything I am selling stuff at its current value or you know with a profit whatever I've uh, spent on the card so I want to show you guys what I've sold so far and obviously there's cards that are untouchable that I'm not gonna be selling at all I'm going to keep them because they mean something to me, of course. Anyway, guys, let's get into this video. Cue that intro. Rightio, guys. So we're going to start off with some sales. Uh, I've only been advertising my PSA cards at the moment, and I've sold quite a few, as you can see. Uh, I sold... Well, this is in the works of selling at the moment. By the time this is posted, it's... Uh, by the time this video is posted, it's probably sold already. Um, it's actually going to one of my subscribers, so cheerio to him. Um, he might be getting this. He's getting a discount because he is a subscriber, so thanks for supporting me. So at the moment, that is not sold, but it is probably, I'm saving it for him. I'm not going to really sell it to anyone else. Uh, him on TV, sorry, but someone bought this already. <laughs> um, yeah, he bought this the matchup first edition and the Alolan Raichu. Uh, it was what was it? $140 for the three cards, which is pretty cool. Um, that is with a profit. I'm not really gonna. Mm, can't really remember how much I paid. I think this was 35. This might have been 20, and this might have been 20 as well when I bought it originally. So, yeah, obviously that is quite a bit of profit there. And like I said before, these are cards, like, there's nothing wrong with any of these cards. They look cool and stuff, but um, they just don't really suit my collection or what I want to see in my collection. Uh, so, yeah, those all sold today. A Trico sold today as well, also for profit as well. Um, I think I bought it for $10. It was a bit of a, um, a bulk buy. I bought this and a couple other cards for $10 each. And... Um, Sold this for $30, not including postage, so that's pretty cool. Triple in value. And Polyrath, kind of the same deal. I think I paid $25 or $30 for this card, and I'm selling it for $45. However, I did buy a few other things that came with it, so that's why this was $30. Otherwise, it probably would have been $20 value, because I bought two boosters, and they were $5 each. So, there you go. Everything I am selling has a bit of a profit on them. But they're still fair market price because I don't really want to rip off anybody. But I want to be fair to myself as well because obviously cards have grown in value as well. And some of these sets are not that easy to find anymore like EX Sandstorm. Um, next up we have a Dragon Vault. <laughs> a Dragon Vault Blister Pack. Now, as I said before, this is going to be part of my Booster Pack Art Set collection. Check out the back of that. That looks awesome. This was my question, guys. Uh, obviously, you know, I collect booster pack art sets. And they're usually single booster packs. But I can't really seem to find Dragon Vault a lot anywhere. And I managed to find this on eBay. Dragon Vault it has three booster packs. So obviously, that is not the complete set. And it has a really cool Dragon Vault Latias on the front. Latias. Which looks pretty cool, you know. Question was really, guys, should I open this up? <laughs> like, not the packs, but just the blister. Um, I think 
you know, if I'm gonna stay consistent with my booster pack art set collection, I'd have to actually, you know, put them all inside the binder like I've been doing with all the other ones, as you've seen in previous videos, as you can see right here as well. So these are what they look like. If I keep that in the blister, it's like not consistent with the collection so far. Um, you know how it is. It's all safe and tidy and stuff, but um, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, should I open this up and, you know, put these booster packs inside there and obviously buy the last artwork? I can't really see the other artwork here. Hopefully it's not the same as those, or if it is, I guess I could potentially open them. Um, I'm not really going to give much knowledge on it, except that these booster packs only have five cards in them. They're not like your standard uh, 10 or 11 inside the booster pack, so quite interesting. Uh, take a look at that, some extra information that I found uh, definitely, I can't speak, definitely unique. So um, yeah, I mean if I were to open this, uh, obviously I think I can get the value back easily. It doesn't have to be inside this to get the value. Uh, even the Ladius, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked up the price on it, but I could potentially just grade that myself because it's actually a really nice uh, kind of pre-release promo card. <laughs> I only say that because it looks like Dragon Vault there. It's like, ooh, that's like a pre-release card. Let me know in the comment section what do you think I should do. I haven't really decided if I should open this up or not. Uh, yeah. So that is the back as well. Again, just love the artwork on the Dragonite and all that. It's like really old school and they were Ray Quaze. Uh, you can read that as well. And this is just for my reference too because if I do decide to sell these booster pack art sets, you know, this is definitely unweighed, untampered with, so who knows what you can pull out of these bad boys. Now guys, the moment you have been waiting for, I'm really excited to show you guys this, and I'm curious to know what you guys think. Because as I said before, this is not your everyday PSA card. <laughs> what is it guys? You can tell, yeah? It is a PSA card, but it's not your average Pokemon PSA card, obviously, because Pokemon looks like this. So guys, uh, as of late, I've been getting into Dragon Ball Super, and I want to know you guys' opinion on it. Um, this is still 100% a Pokemon channel. I'm 99% sure that this is just, you know, uh, something I'm doing on the on the on the down low <laughs> but Pokemon is going to be definitely the main content I'm doing here I'm 95% sure and the other 5% I might bring in a Dragon Ball Super kind of content maybe one video every so often because in all honesty I'm just getting into it there's a lot of hype around these cards lately and you know they're, they're just starting off on PSA and I think I you know why not just get in early and grow a, a bit of a diverse PSA collection. Not only Pokemon, but a few other things. I do have some Michael Jordan cards and uh, a Batman PSA graded card. So it's nothing new that I'm getting other PSA cards in the collection, but Dragon Ball Super, you definitely might see some more of that. I don't want to scare any Pokemon lovers out there away. So let me know in the comment section as well. What do you think about Dragon Ball Super? Do you like to see it on the channel? I might also unbox some. It's just, you know, I don't want this to be a place where, ah, oh, I thought he's just doing Pokemon stuff, or, you know, um, I know several people, they do two separate channels, one for this, one for Pokemon, and it works out for them. Like Rhyme Style Pokemon, he's got Rhyme Style, and then Rhyme Style Pokemon. Um, but anyway, let me show you the card. Beautiful. <laughs> PSA 10. Wow. Just look at the card. Like, And guys, if you've never seen Dragon Ball Super cards, this is kind of like how they they look. Like, it's so colorful. The artwork is just amazing. Like, And this is why I bought this. This is actually a secret rare. So this is their version of like a gold card in Pokemon, if you, if you will. Or just a secret rare, right? So that is what it looks like. Amazing. Gem Mint 10. Currently, uh, Dragon Ball Super cards, they're like low pops on the, in the PSA report. So 
getting in early right now, um, hopefully it's going to be a great investment. Either way, I'm treating it the same way as I do Pokemon, that I am investing it, but I am buying cards that I'm going to like and that I want in my collection. And, you know, something like this, I would not really sell. <laughs> But like I said before, the other cards that I had that I was showing for sale, I didn't really hesitate because I just didn't really have a uh, have an attachment to those cards. And that's what I want in my collection. I want to be, you know, attached to the cards so that I don't want to sell. <laughs> and um, part of the reason I am going through my collection and selling off stuff. So, but man, this is awesome. Let me know what you guys think. This card cost me three. 150 bucks and yeah I'm buying high-end cards now like kind of and Dragon Ball Super there's definitely a lot of cool cards to like to get uh, Goku is my favorite character so I'll probably get a lot of Goku cards there's those signature cards that are really popular right now and hard to grade so they're they're great investments I reckon because it actually has the signature of the voice actor of the character on the card which is kind of like, you know, a signature on a Pokemon card. You know how people get them graded and they, they sign on it. So that is really cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you don't want to see any more of this, this will be the last time. Just look at the brightness. Look at it. It's just so cool. I know it's not Pokemon. And guys, forgive me. <laughs> but I do like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and all that as well. Um, so I'm hoping to have a bit of a diverse PSA collection, but also cards that I want in it uh, and obviously like I said before I'm gonna be grading a lot of the cards in my personal collection before I sell anything hardcore <laughs> anyway that's all I have for you guys let me know what you think plenty of questions for you what do you think about Dragon Ball Super do you want me to continue showing you this or you know I am gonna continue buying it whether you like it or not <laughs> so um, yeah I'm gonna to continue to buy it but if you guys don't want me to show you these kind of cards because this is a Pokemon channel, I also don't. I respect that as well because I don't want to scare away my true Pokemon lovers and fans. Um, so that and also the Dragon Vault. Should I open up just the cardboard and, you know, the actual the actual blister? Not the packs. I'm going to still seal the packs away and maybe put that away for grading or something. But anyway, that's all I have. I still have a few PSA cards to sell off. Um... They're doing quite well. It's only been two days and I've had a lot of great responses towards that. So, guys, see you later. Two days time. I post every two days. Don't forget my giveaways. Don't forget blah, blah. See ya. Like, subscribe. Bye.